I mean, obviously a pretty good weekend. First for men, second for women's. It looked like for the men's, I mean, Briggs even in the top five there, I believe. So, I mean, just a great weekend from you guys. Yeah, another another step in the right direction for a number of our guys. Uh, we, we've got to keep on improving, that's that's for sure. But uh, seeing Zeke moving in the right direction, seeing Briggs move in the right direction, those are guys that have been All-American, they've been All-Region before. We need three guys in the top 25 at least uh, at the regional meet, and those are two guys who've done it before, have been well inside the top 25. Zeke's one, Briggs has been 16th before in the region. So those are the kind of performances we need, along with uh, Innocent Marwan Shaka, who's the conference champion this year. Uh, and uh, is that our number one all year? I expect that to continue. I expect him to take a shot at the regional title as well. On the women's side, second place, individual title there for Florence as well. So it's kind of had to be pretty impressive to women. Yeah, very, very happy with our top three girls. Uh, Grace Dwyer really is the one that I'm probably most proud of. She uh, she fell back probably about 10 seconds off of the Dallas Baptist number three girl, and she was running about eighth or ninth place. And then with about a mile to go, she realized that they were coming back, and she made a move and went from being behind their number three to ahead of their two and really gave us a shot. We, we struggled a little bit at number five, uh, but you know what? That's, that's the way it rolls sometimes. I think we were winning with probably about a mile to go. Uh, after Grace made that move, but then we fell back a little bit at number four and five. So, uh, got freshmen back there, their, their first their first go at it. So, all we can hope for is that they're they're motivated to kind of uh, get a little uh, revenge on it and make sure we get to the uh, get to the national meet. So they got a big job ahead of them when we go to Lubbock. Uh, but just looking for them to come through and have a little uh, little chip on their shoulder, like they lift a little something on the table. So, got to get there healthy, and uh, got to get a little bit better at four and five. But our one through three is pretty darn good. Right? You, you kind of mentioned, I mean, you guys were right there. It's so many, I think you guys had like five or six in the top 15 for the women's side. So to get that close, I mean, what do you take away from both men's and women's side that you're like, hey, we can improve on this here? So the women, what I'm really proud of is that uh, our girls got beat 25 to 85 when we compare ourselves to DBU last year when we were runner-up. This year it was 35 to 38, only three points. So we weren't even in the same conversation. We were not in the same league as DBU last year. Uh, we made a big step forward this year, and uh, yes, recruiting's a part of it, but more so I'd say that the, just the culture and the girls really want to be good. They show up with a great attitude. Again, Grace Dwyer is a huge piece to that. She is so such an awesome person to have around. She's so motivating. There's a lot of stuff for the girls outside of practice. So just that culture has come a long ways, not only from a performance standpoint, but also that culture is pretty strong for those girls. So uh, I think that from a mental standpoint in those regards, we're in a good place moving forward. We just got to keep doing what we're doing and be healthy. Uh, on the guys' side, we've got seven guys that uh, are interchangeable at numbers probably three through seven. So uh, I, I need those four or five guys to come through and do the job. And I got four guys that can do the job that I need two guys to do. So we got to be inside the top top 40, top 50 at least with those seven guys and uh, get as many guys inside that all-region marker as possible if we're going to knock off uh, Western Colorado or UCCS on the guys' side. That's what we have to do. If we don't beat one of those two, I don't know if we're making the national meet. That's pretty much what has to happen. On the ladies' side, we have to beat Colorado Christian, Western, or CSU Pueblo. We have to beat one of those teams. Uh, if we do that, we'll guarantee ourselves a spot at the national meet. Those teams are going. They'll push us in if we beat one of those teams. If we don't, uh, set the hands of the committee if we get in. So. All right, November 6th, a couple weeks now off the way until regional. Just what's the game plan between now and then? Stay healthy. Stay healthy, recover, make sure that uh, we got everything in place. We're not going to gain much fitness from this point moving forward. So for our top runners, we know they're going to do the job. We're going to keep on keep that focus on what they're going to do at the national meet. Uh, but uh, everyone else, it's, it's like we're running the last race of the season. So we're going to get ready like this is our national meet and go in there like uh, we're, we're really – tapering, prepping to make sure that we get to the national meet. Because if we do, we'll have two good teams there, but we have to get there. And uh, it's, it's going to be tough. A lot of, lot of good teams out there, and we got to show up and do the job.